welcome to this next lecture on electrical machines and uh, we were uh, discussing about uh, how to make a balanced three phase winding when the specifications are uh, that uh, total number of slots uh, is 24 and number of poles is 4 this time I have taken uh, that is that is this was the specification 24 slots and 4 poles machine double layer winding I want to do full pitched and I have decided that under each pole there are 6 slots 2 slots uh, will be allotted to R phase for distribution and 2 slots will be allotted to Y phase and 2 slots will be allotted to B phase. So, uh, as usual I conclude first before doing anything that there are total of 24 coils will be there because each slot houses 2 coil sides and 2 coil sides make a coil therefore, there must be total of 24 coils and it is a balanced 3 phase winding we want to do. Therefore, at the end um, there must be 8 coils belonging to R phase, 8 to Y phase and 8 to B phase. So, that was the thing. Now, I was telling that actual machine is this one, these are the slots I have already numbered 1 to 24, but I will not go to this first. What I will do? I will make uh, 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 this table first because uh, I now know the rules. So, coil span is 6 slots. So, for R phase I am completed. So, if it starts from 1 plus 6 7 dashed then immediately 2 slots I will allot. So, 2 to 8 dashed. So, coil span is 6 slots coil span is 6 slots that is why 6 is added and these 2 coils will make uh, group 1 of R phase group 1 of R phase. Similarly, group 2 under the next pole it will therefore, start from if it had started from 1 under south pole it must start at 7 because 6 is the pole pitch. Therefore, 1 plus 6 7, 7 13 dash, 8 14 dash, then 7 plus 13. So, it just, just becomes uh, number you just write them. Then to give a uh, physical picture to this I have drawn the what this 1 dash 7 dash means. It means a single coil with terminals 1 7 dash available to you. So, this is this one and then I have shown the polarity suppose it so happens that uh, coil side 1 has plus and 7 dash minus and it is full pitched coil. Similarly, this is plus this is minus, but however, the start of the second group 7 13 dash must have opposite polarity like this and this way I completed and I got all the 8 coils of R phase. Then of course, the interconnection of these phases are necessary and for doing that one should be careful one cannot just go on blindly add them in series. Uh, with due regard to polarity one should add them so that they become all additive and ultimately two terminals you will get in which all the coils will be in series and then ultimately this is R phase this is minus of Y phase. Now, let us do the Y phase ok before doing Y phase let me translate the R phase here now in this diagram ok. Let us see how it translates R phase. So, red phase I will use red color if possible. So, you see here is the first coil and uh, this is 1 ok, this is 1 ok, this is 1. Then its return will be at 7 dashed 
you see 1 7 dash. So, it will be 7 dash and this time you notice it is not diametrically opposite to make a coil and this I know because it is a 4 pole machine. So, 90 degree mechanical if you go you have gone by 180 degree electrical. So, these things will now come out nicely. So, this is one coil. Second coil is 2 8 dash. So, this is 2 and 8 dash is here. is not. These are the two coils. Then you have 7 13 dash. So, 7 and 13 dash this is 7 and 13 dash is here. Hmm? Which one? Oh, I have below I have drawn. So, uh, this is uh, 7 dash I have. Mm, so, 13 will be here. So, 1 7 correct, 2 7 dash is correct. Then I want to do uh, this coil that is 7 13 dash I want to make. So, if this is 7, 13 dash should be shown here, is not? This is 1. I am sorry, 7 13 dash and then 8 14 dash. So, 8 and 14 dash, 14 dash. 8 14 dash, then you have 13 9 dash. So, 13 is where? 13 is here, this is 13, 13 and 19 dash, 19 dash is here below 19 dash, 13 19 dash and then you have 14 20 dash. So, 14 is here and 20 dash is here and still you have to add another two coils 19 1 dash. So, where is 19? 19, 19. So, this is 19 upper deck 19 and 1 dash vacancy will be there appropriately as you can see 19 1, t 1 dash and 22 dash. So, this is 20 and this is 2 dash and there are now 8 coils drawn and the coils are distributed and this is what I expect because if you connect them in series and if you suppose pass a DC current, let us see how 4 poles are produced. So, this current is entering through 1, 2, through so 1, 2 and you can easily see current is all also entering through 1 dash and 2 dash. So, this, this, these all carry cross current, similarly this all will carry dot current this will carry cross current. You can easily verify and this will carry dot current. So, uh, how four poles are produced cross. So, this will be the thing, these are dot, this will be the thing, these are cross this will be the thing and these are dot, this would be the thing. Therefore, uh, for this one, this this part one quarter will become south pole, flux is entering and this quarter, this quarter flux are coming out and it will 
be north pole, this will be south pole, this will be north pole. So, this is our phase. Y phase will be exactly same, but this whole pattern will be shifted by 120 degree alone apart from this. So, this I am not uh, drawing, I will only make the winding table here, you can practice it and verify yourself indeed it will be shifted by 120 degree, that is the most important thing. Therefore, <coughs> this is the thing. Now, uh, let us do it for y phase. So, r phase is over. So, y phase although I am using blue color, but it does not matter y phase same thing I will do. Now, for this I neither require this slots that is the advantage if you have understood it properly. Only thing is y phase starting slot number must be 120 degree electrical apart. 120 degree means what? 6 slots correspond to 120 degree. So, angle is 30 degree between this slot. So, 4 slots. Therefore, uh, it must start from 5. So, this way from this to this 4, 120 degree apart. After you get 5, then it is 6 because each coil is identical with others. So, 5 I will write 11 dash is not. Then next slot also I will give to, so it will be 12 dash. This is first group under south pole. So, then this one 7 plus 4 that is 11 and then plus 6 17 dashed and then 12 18 dashed. Then south pole 13 plus 4 17 and then plus 6 13, 17 plus 6 is 23. So, 23 dashed and then 18 24 is there 24 dashed hopefully things are correct. Then uh, this one uh, 11 plus 6 17, 17 plus 6 23, but 23 is not uh, 23 is there 23. Then you add plus 6 to it this is the coil span. So, 29, but 29 does not exist maximum is 24. So, 29 minus 24 is 5. So, it will be 5 dashed and then you know 24 and 6 dashed. This will be your y phase and if you want to show it as coils show it 5 11 dashed. So, everything is accounted for all the slots 6 12 dashed and then uh, 11, 17 dashed and then 12, 18 dashed and then 17, 23 dashed and this is 18, 24 dashed and then once again plus minus plus minus under north pole then this is minus plus minus plus under say north pole, this is south pole, this is once again uh, plus minus alternately it comes like that plus minus plus minus because south pole and then this will be minus plus minus plus and the numbering you can do 5 dash etcetera 25. I am not going to draw for B phase that you do do yourself. So, similar thing and then once again connect them in series. This is one group why no this is one group and then this is another group 2 2 this is another group and you add them in series you get another group. 
over. Now, how to get that uh, total voltage in terms of phasor and what should be the value of m? Let us see. First thing is, I will now straight away draw. Suppose uh, there are 4 voltages, 8 voltages are to be added. So, I will take a new space, ok, new space. So, suppose I start with this voltage. Keep it here. So, this is E 1 7 dash. To this, you have to add E 2 8 dash, but there is a slot angle difference between 1 and 2. It start happens after 30 degree. So, you add this 30 degree lagging that is E 2 8 dash. After it is over, you have to add these voltages, but reversed. So, what happens is this another two voltages are added, but this voltage is not E 7 13 dash, I should write it as E 13 dash 7 reversed, and this way you will get this and another two voltages. One, two, three, and another eight coils are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. Note that this this length will be collinear. These, 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 because by the, the all lengths are equal and they are equally shifted. In this case, by thirty degree. So this will be your R 1 R 2. Similarly, the y phase if you sketch the feathers, you will see that oh, capital Y 1 Y 2 will be shifted by 120 degree Y 1 Y 2 etcetera that I am not doing and you can easily show that. But to calculate the distribution factor, what should be the value of m? See, to calculate the value of m, you need not go the whole length to understand that, because these things are in series, I mean of equal length in phase. Therefore, k d should be calculated with m equal to 2, that is all. You calculate distribution factor from this, that is if these two are distributed, they are not distributed, they would have been collinear, higher. So, k d will be m that is 2 sin m beta by 2 beta is 30 degree divided by m m sin beta by 2 by sin beta by 2 this will be the value of k d. So, uh, this way it can be uh, easily calculated therefore, I hope you have understood what is a double layer winding. Why double layer winding? Then you are using uh, these slots with more conductors. See, the size of a machine depends upon the amount of copper you are utilizing and amount of iron you are utilizing. Uh, okay. And whenever you use iron or copper, you must see they are used to their maximum possible limits. Therefore, it was found that you have to accommodate only two coil turns. So, better instead of using a single layer winding, which can also be done for small machines, but it is always better to use a double layer winding like this. Incidentally, this winding when you use, so uh, B phase you complete yourself okay, and make a nice diagram, not as clumsy as I, it appears in my case, have a nice paper, draw it. As I told you, it is simple number games. Horizontal movement from R to Y phase, it is uh, actually 120 degree electrical apart. Corresponding number of slots is to be added. 
this vertical movement from this to this and this movement is slot pitch like this. Okay. Now, uh, this sort of winding is called 60 degree face spread winding. Sixty degree face spread winding name I have not used till now. It simply means that that uh, one pole that is one eighty degree, one eighty degree, sixty degree, sixty degree, sixty degree, sixty degree each. I am allotting to R phase, Y phase, and B phase. That is why it is called a sixty degree face spread winding. Okay. There is another uh, type of winding which is called 120 degree face spread winding. This is very popular okay. 120 degree face spread winding. Now, what is face spread? Face spread means how many coils immediately you are connecting in series over what angle uh, this uh, distribution takes place that is a uh, measure of face spread to what extent of a 180 degree uh, your R phase winding is, is there or Y phase winding is there that is called phase spread. Okay. So, in this case the phase spread is 60 degree because R phase winding over a pole you see only two slots 6, 30, 30, 60 between this to this. 30, 30, 60. So, that 120 degree phase spread I will tell you next time, but before that I already told you that it may be necessary not to use full pitched coil. Although full pitched coil should be used no doubt if you have a perfect B distribution sinusoidal B distribution nothing is better than that. But as I told you the B distribution uh, may contain some harmonics and uh, uh, therefore, instead of using a full pitched coil you use short pitched coil. The angle epsilon by which the a coil is short pitched. Uh, is chosen by the designer. Designer will tell me okay, for this machine B distribution may be third harmonic is very large uh, and uh, you short pitch this by one slot or two slot that I gave you some hints how to decide about that epsilon short pitched coil. In this case what I will do is this I will specify the angle by which the cord coil is short corded. For example, the same same problem S equal to 24, P is equal to 4, okay, double layer but coils each coil all coils are identical each coil is short corded by one slot or 30 degree for because this problem we have discussing beta is 30 degree for this machine. Then uh, how to make the winding table very simple. See coil span for full pitched the same problem I am carrying on with, but uh, this time I want to use short corded coil. For full pitched coil it should be uh, the coil size should be 6 slots apart as we have seen. Six slots apart, the coil sides are. Now I am telling each coil span should not be six, 
it is less by one slot. Therefore, in this case for when you have short coded like this coil span I am declaring it is 5 slots. So, how things will change in the winding table? Let me try here only for R phase at least 2 R phase. Nothing essentially will change except that earlier it was 1 7 dashed is not now it should be 1 6 dashed that is the first coil and all coils will have 5 slots separation coil sides for a particular coil. So, second second one must be 2 7 dashed this will be the first group say under south pole under north pole of course, the start of uh, second group first coil side should be one pole p tap pole p chapter that is it should be 7 no doubt, but it is return should be plus 5 that is 12 dashed and this is 8 and 8 plus 5 13 dashed. Then once again south. 1 plus 6 7 7 plus 6 that should be 1 pole pitch apart second coil third coil. So, 7 plus 6 13 and 13 plus 5 18 dashed then 14 and 19 dashed and another knot is there and that should be 13 plus 6 19 and 19 plus 5 24 dashed and this should be 20 and 25 dashed 25 dash does not exist 1 dashed this is the r phase and and the coils i will show exactly similar i mean nothing new in this only thing the separation between the two coil sides of a coil is not six slots but 5 slots because I am looking for a winding which is short corded by 1 slot. So, for, for full pitch it would have been 6 slots, but I am telling oh make it 5 slots. So, so that is that is the thing. So, 2 7 dashed uh, in the same way this is 7 12 dashed and 8 13 dashed and this is 13 18 dashed and this is 14 19 dashed and finally, this is 21 dashed and uh, polarity once again is decided by uh, this way plus minus this will become minus plus minus plus plus minus plus minus alternate pole polarity reverses south is plus and then minus why oh I missed one here there is another coil 1924 dashed you get the idea plus minus like that and then once again connect them in series appropriately and get the. Now, similarly only thing I will just tell you about the beginning of the y phase y phase. See, you have short corded no doubt, but you are looking for a balanced three phase winding. Therefore, y phase must start after 120 degree that does not change only thing changes is the coil span this one. So, it should be that 4 slots apart that is 1 plus 4 5 and then 10 dashed and then this is 6 11 dashed once you get this number you need not look here then proceed. So, this is how the y phase and b phase I will request you on your own that is very important you try to complete this table and next time I will of course, complete this table, but before that you do it on your own 
and also calculate the distribution factor k d for this particular machine. So, next time we will also discuss about 120 degree phase break winding. Thank you.